Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. So today I am here with the another book by Om Swami. I know you must be like I have posted two, three book book review by like book written by the Om Swami, but the reason is so simple because I have like I have attachment to that writing style, the way he talk about, the way he share his knowledge. It's so unique and so different. That's why I started liking the Om Swami's books. It's not like that I am his huge follower. I follow him regularly. I do meditation and all these things, but the way he write the way he like the way he talk about the things it's so different maybe he is a kind of our age and he understand our ease or he understand our mindset so easily because he have been like he have been to the multi millionaire dollar company to transfer to the monk like like he have uh, sold his pots and pick up the paint to just on just for the living he did meditation for more than 18 hours on the himalaya i mean that's what he he is and the way he's, he writes the book, it's so, so amazing. The, that's so simple. That's so valuable. So I, I have come constantly reading the, all his books. So if you have not checked the previous book, which is The Million Thoughts and The Art, The Heart of Success, I will highly suggest you to go that check book review. They are so good. You should definitely read this book. So today here, my, another book by the Om Swami, which is Mindful to Mindful this kind of this book is not uh, same as the previous books or this book is kind of a different book this book is contains the short stories this book contains the illustrated part in this book i mean it's not the same as the previous book he talked a lot book in the zen philosophy the, the zen buddhism and how that things work in your life how you can understand about it obviously i have made one book like the million thoughts which uh, talk about the meditation part and if you have not checked i will suggest you to check the link in the description or there is i button you can check that book the second book i talk about the heart of success which is mostly depends on the business person and the third book which i am current which i finished just which is mindful to mindful this book is completely different it's not even related not even close to the previous books that's why i wanted to make this video this book is a different which talk about the zen buddhism zen philosophy in this book he talk about the zen teaching i mean after that when i finished this book i am literally i can say that i understood what is the zen philosophy i already made one video on the zen philosophy i mean think nat has uh, another author which talk about the zen philosophy so i have already knowledge about the zen philosophy but after this book you can understand zen philosophy because it's ridiculously simple anyone can understand and the way om swami delivers the value the way the way om swami writes the things it's so 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 easy to understand you can understand even if you are like little bit no idea about the zen philosophy even though you can understand really well this book is around 200 pages only but it's a kind of the way it's the way it's the, the language is flow like a river the writing style is flow like a river in the starting when you start they start with the small stories i mean this book is divided into small small stories to make you understand what is a zen philosophy or the what is a zen on buddhism so in the starting of the few chapters he talk about the what are the zen zen concepts or the what are the various zen concepts like chato zazen then can he these are the various zen concepts i'm not gonna going to deep dive into this if you want to understand put the uh, pick up the book and start reading you will understand this all this concept of what are the jazz and shadow and after the end of this book he kind of talk about our earlier life the humanity the forgiveness how you should think about it how you should forgive what, what is forgiveness and how you should quite see it and understand life so all this kind of stuff he talk about at the end of this book but like it's like going from the not knowing anything about life then understanding first zen philosophy or the zen buddhism and the, then understanding the various techniques about the zen philosophy then moving towards the how you can apply to your life and after that you will understand why this zen philosophy is so so simple if you are not much into reading if you don't want to go into the or if you already know zen i will highly suggest you to read the uh, like the last few chapters these are really really awesome and if you want to understand how story story has to be done then this book is really gem for you by this you will i mean you will know that how anyone should do the storytelling part how anyone should do the story tell to understand something to the other person i mean if you are more of a public speaker or if you are more of a person who delivers or who talk on the youtube and a lot of things and if you want to understand the storytelling then this book is really for you it's like going from the not knowing anything and going from the tunnel to understand the zen and buddhism philosophy 
talking about the language the language is ridiculously easy i mean freaking i have been talking about the ohm swami's language since last two three videos and it's been crazy that i have read uh, almost time i am on the way to read all his books by the ohm swami the kind of his books is just like pop-ups in my mind or whenever i like have my kindle is filled with his books and, and i'm continuously reading one after one book by the ohm swami and the way he delivers the value the way the language is it's so pure and so awesome that you should definitely check so this book contains very small small stories and the, there is like cartoon characters like not cartoon animated things or the uh, flat flat characters in this book that will help you to understand in a better way but if you are new to this i will highly suggest you to pick up the book by the home swami the thing is this the book is not kind of a monk language if you pick up the very high person or who have been who if you have read any book by the monk the language is kind of a monk like how they talk as a monk or how they deliver as a monk but this is not like that type of book this is a perfectly a storytelling if you are a children or if you like the way we used to listen stories in the childhood the way that kind of uh, that kind of vibes we get when we start reading this book i have been, like i have finished this book within a one day but it's so so pure i'm going to pick up another book by the om swami so this book is really good i if you want to buy there is a link in the description go buy this book and don't tell me what you think about this book because the om so even the om swami is a monk he's like uh, he has been the entrepreneur he has been to the business person and then he shifted to the monk so he understand what type of uh, what type of story has to be done in the book what type of the story has to be written in the book and what type of writing has to be delivered to the audience so audience can e easily relate so if you have not checked it go check out his youtube videos also he talk about a lot about the mindfulness and the mindful that's all for the today's video if you have enjoyed this video make sure you like this video share with your friends who want to getting start with the reading and if you want to listen my all the podcasts then there is a link in the description go check out that and there is a quotes at the end of this video don't forget to check out the quotes from this book like i started putting the quotes for the everything about this from whatever i book read i'm putting that at the end of the video do check out and if you want me to review any of the book then do let me know in the comments or go on the instagram follow me on the instagram and check out all the reviews or the things i share on the instagram where i share the daily things that i do or what i read it's like my daily diary for the instagram is like my daily diary so see you in the next one